There's plastic lined ponds and there are naturally lined ponds. This is a plastic lined pond, the one we're looking at here. Now the reason why you would need to line a pond with plastic all has to do with the soil type in the landscape or place that you want to install a pond. Also, it has to do with the size of the pond that you want to install. So if you want to have a very small pond because you don't have a lot of room, then you'll have to do it with a plastic liner and not a natural liner. And the reason for that is because natural liners require a, at least a two to one slope on the in slope of the pond. So what that means is in order to even get a two foot depth, you need approximately a six foot width. Now, two foot depth is the minimum depth more or less you want if you, will, if you want to have fish in your pond. So smaller ponds generally always have to be plastic lined. And what the benefit of that is that you can dig vertical sides to a plastic lined pond, meaning you can dig a hole straight down to a two foot, three foot, four foot depth, whatever it is that you want. And a plastic liner will be able to stabilize on that kind of a, of a sheer face. The other reason, like I mentioned, about having a plastic line pond is has to do with soil type. So here we are in Spassville, California, known for its sandy loam. We have a, a high concentration of sandy loam here and a very low concentration of clay. To have a successful naturally lined pond requires a high level of clay, or at least a moderate level of clay in the soil, which we have none of here in this ecosystem and in this soil type. So it was absolutely necessary for us to use a plastic liner.